Today we may feel a fiery urge to act, to push forward, to stand our ground. And at the same time, we may all feel this unexpected shakeup in our relationships or with our money or just life in general. Okay, so these two forces, one of fierce action, the other of, well, I'll give you a clue, your honest is involved, unsettling, unpredictability. It may leave us feeling torn, confused, unsure of which way to turn. So this is a time, this is a chance that we are being offered to ask ourselves some hard questions. You know, am I being true to myself? Or am I conforming to others' expectations? Am I willing to take a risk? Or am I allowing fear to hold me back? So the answers lie in how you choose to navigate this tension between security and freedom, between stability and change. So join me as we embark on a journey of self-discovery, gaining an understanding of how to embrace this energy and move forward today and every day. So hi, I'm Tilly. This is Tara with Tilly. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all the positive, loving support you send me each and every day. I send it right back to you. Welcome to your daily focus for October the 14th, 2024. So today we have the energy of the 14. The 14 is about finding that sweet spot, that perfect balance for ourselves. Where we have our responsibilities and yet we have our freedom. Okay, we have, you know, we have our stability and our change. We have security. We have freedom. You know, it's about finding that, that true balance in our life. Uh, it's also about forging oneself. And I, I mean that in that my dad was a blacksmith. 14 is the, the, numero, the, numer, the number four blacksmiths, among other things. And my dad was a blacksmith. And so, you know, if you can imagine grabbing that... Uh, that piece of metal and getting that fire just so it's the right colors, the right hues of purples and pinks and baby blues. And you put that metal in and you take the hammer to it and you bend and then you take it out to cool. And essentially that is what this energy, the 14 is asking us to do to allow for a little bit of change and then to absorb it, to, to make it our own and then go back in and, and mold ourselves some more in our strength, and our courage, and our confidence, and our belief in ourselves. One plus four is a five energy. The five energy, it's about creating happiness and joy and giggles and laughter. It's about allowing your inner expression to flow, your creativity to come alive. It's a time to be in the moment and celebrate. And celebrating the moment. Now, if we look at the daily numerology, it would be a 1 plus a 5 plus an 8, which gives us the 14. 1 plus 4 gives us the 5. So know that through the month of October, we are going to have some highly charged energy coming from our numerology. When we look at the astrology, Sun is in Libra, our Moon is in Pisces. Now we have the Sun square Mars. So talk about determination meeting resistance. It it's, truly is a tug of war between our desires and what stands in our way. So we have a couple of options, really, only two. We either fight against the current or we use this force to our advantage. So if we want to use it towards our advantage, we need to stay mindful. We need to have constructive action rather than letting kind of some kind of anger or frustration because those will surely show up in our lives today, guide us. Okay, we will be impatient. And that leads to rash decisions. That leads to conflicts. You know, this is not a day to feel the need to prove yourself. Okay, we just need to focus on our disciplined action steps. Definitely not impulsive moves. And, uh, you know, that's kind of contradictory to the next transit I'm going to be talking to you about because it is an impulsive move, but I don't want to get ahead of myself. So, um, with this energy, persistence, persistence will lead to breakthroughs. 
So know that any frustration is probably pointing you towards something that needs attention in your life. That it's masking um, a deeper need for change or a deeper need for some sort of new action in your life. Now we have Venus opposite Uranus. Okay, so we want freedom. We want the connections. And it is about, you know, finding that sweet spot between the two. So this energy actually encourages spontaneity, experimentation, new experiences, new perspectives. But we need to truly avoid the impulsive decisions, even in this energy. Okay, impulsive actions, especially in love, especially in money. Wow, it could easily lead to regrets. So take the time to think it through. You know, is this an impulse? To bring in balance? Is it being driven by genuine growth? You know, is it my dissatisfaction in my routines? Or what changes are truly necessary in my life? What changes do I want right now that are simply a whim? It doesn't really matter in the long, in the big picture. So ask yourself these important questions, okay? There's a lot of tension that we'll be experiencing today. So stay grounded. Okay. This tension could either propel you forward into something new and exciting, or it could leave you feeling stuck if fear outweighs your willingness to take the action. So make sure that it's not a sense of fear that is stopping you from going forward. That's easily said, hard to do. Okay, it will be mainly stepping into the unknown, but we weigh it out. We think it out. We give it some thought. But a bold, spontaneous decision, you know, one that's made with thoughtfulness, <laughs> it'll definitely lead to ex experiences, fulfilling experiences in love and in, in how you, your relationship with money with life in general, okay? It's, it's time to explore new perspectives without sacrificing what is already important. Okay, let's turn to the cards. Oh, we had the magician at the bottom. I wonder if he's going to come out. Okay, let's cut the cards here. It was a sloppy cut, but a cut nonetheless. And our underlying energy is the Five of Pentacles. Is fear holding you back? Are you not willing to stand up, turn around, and knock on that door? Turn that doorknob. See what awaits you. See what kind of, that's the door of abundance. That's the door of prosperity. So what is holding you back? What is that fear? And is that, you know, it... This is a card too. You know, we are sitting on the threshold of the door of abundance here. We don't know how close we actually are. If we just persevere a little bit longer, we push a little bit harder. We give it more focus and attention. We give it more time or energy or resources. So this is kind of like we want to throw in the towel here in some ways to where we've been pushing. This is definitely a card that is telling us, you know, are we going to live behind that fear or are we going to push through that fear and stand up and turn around and turn that doorknob walk through the door of abundance the door of prosperity and see what lays on the other side our first card is the eight of wands opportunities are opening up to us many opportunities many ways of expanding Expanding our perceptions of what can be fulfilling in our lives to uh, erase any kind of limitation that you feel. To know that you can go beyond what you are already dreaming. To take a chance on you. And I kind of get this, we need to, we need to rely on our strength, but our, our strength of courage and perseverance and a patience with ourselves and a patience with our dreams. But we're going to see the expansion of new opportunities could come into play today. Absolutely. New ideas of how to go forward. 
Okay, give it some thoughtful consideration, but it could be the very thing that you need to step into. It could be definitely the wrong thing, but I'm thinking more so if we give it just a little bit of thought, doesn't take much, back up, count to 10, do something. But to just think it through long enough to say, is this going to move me forward in the direction I want to? Will it support me in my goals, my dreams, in what I want to have in my world? We have the temperance card. So the 14 energy is extremely strong. Okay, so here she is. Now, she's usually depicted as one foot on land, one foot in the water, having that balance of logic, groundedness, and emotion leading us forward. Um, she's mixing two goblets of a brew, a concoction, trying to find the, the sweet spot, the perfect mixture for both of those cups to bring in the richness, the opportunities, the adventures, the abundance, the prosperity, the love that we want to have in our life, our well-being. Don't forget our well-being in there. And there's a lot of emotion attached to this card. So know that our emotion does play a role in where we are going, and that emotion could be fear or it could be anticipation. What is it for you? I mean, you know, uh, when I retired, I thought, you know, okay, I'll travel. And that was kind of a new experience and doing something that I normally didn't do. I, I could never do that in all my years of work because I, I had, you know, two disabled children, three in total. They're all grown now, but one still lives with me, Paul, you know, Paul, um, you know, I was a caregiver for my mom who had dementia, a caregiver for my dad who was blind. I, and so there was an opportunity for me to travel. And so traveling, I wanted to travel, but gosh, I was kind of scared to like, how do you get through the airport and how do you get your train ticket? And how do you know that the times are going to be right? And we, how do we figure out what rooms are the closest to where we need to stay? And oh my goodness, there were so many factors to go in there, which was daunting for me because I hadn't done it before. Okay, and then I retire and then I think, okay, and now I'm doing all these new contracts and stuff and, you know, everyone is brand new and a whole new experience and I don't know what to expect walking past that threshold of what I'm actually going to be doing or experiencing or who I'm going to be working with. None of that is revealed to me ahead of time. So it's all, um, you know, a new experience and I could, and I did for, especially the one, I sat back and I thought, I don't know if I have the talent, the ability, the strength the willpower to do something like this. I don't know if I can really do it. And thank goodness Paul is in my life because he, he sat there and, and was my logical mind for me. Mom, you always wanted this and this and this and this. Well, here it's being offered to you. You always talk about manifestation, Mom, and here it's all being offered to you, and yet you're still kind of like ducking out and you're trying to hide from it. I think you should go for it. I think you're really going to regret not going for it, Mom. <laughs> so, I, you know, and he, and he pushed me into past my fear into doing, you know, like, okay, well, if, if you believe in me, then I need to believe in me too. And sometimes it helps to have somebody to believe in you. I believe in you. I know, I know that you are more than capable of reaching every joy and every desire and every ounce of happiness that you long for, that you strive for in your life. I know it. I do believe in you. You've got what it takes. You've got this. Look at this. The last card is the emperor. The emperor doesn't hope and wish and dream. He makes a plan. He makes a strategy. And then he goes after what he wants. And he's willing to amend things as it goes in order for it to turn out. But he expects nothing less of success. Either the way he saw it in his mind or better. And so we have to get a little bit more, oh, I hear dominant in our lives is saying, no, this is the path I've chosen for myself and I'm going to do this. So let's do it. And at the end of it, I'm not going to look back. I'm going to look forward. I'm going to look at the present and forward. I'm going to look at the expansion of and then the steps forward, expansion of steps forward till I reach that goal, that success as I imagined it or better than. 
You're also highly diplomatic here. You're very intuitive with this kind of energy. So it's about blending the mind and the heart as one to act for us as we're going forward. And so long as we give our plans a little bit of thought right now of the opportunities, the adventures that are popping up for us, we will just be okay. Okay. You, you've got this. So, you know, face that fear. Once you face that fear, it loses so much power. It is unbelievable. Sometimes it just disintegrates into nothing. They're like it was never there. Oh, I picked the wrong deck. I have the journey of love cards here. Maybe I'm supposed to do one, but <laughs> I know that'll make for a very long video. And I know that my videos have been a little long the last couple so I try not to do that but please don't shoot the messenger when it, it is long because I I do believe that what I what I think of saying once I hit record is what somebody needs to hear out there and if it's only one person then I leave it in so I don't add it I don't add it on purpose I don't give myself the opportunity to say maybe I should take out that story or oh gosh that was kind of embarrassing what I said there or, wow did I ever trip over my words on that one you know so I don't because I truly believe so don't shoot the messenger please okay I'm just telling you what I believe they need you to hear and maybe it wasn't meant for you, but there's somebody out there. And one day it is going to be meant just for you. Renewal of peace, the 13 energy. Renewal of peace. 13 energy is a very lucky energy. Although what happens to us under a 13 energy may not be as great. <laughs> or even we don't see it as, as good as all. We don't see it as good luck, but it is. It puts us on our path. Okay, it's important to maintain peace with all aspects of your life. Mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual. Inner imbalances can often manifest in your daily life if you don't make time to take care of yourself. It doesn't matter whether or not your imbalance is a negative one. Being optimistic to the point of believing yourself to be invincible can also lead to challenges. Balance is best achieved through listening to your body. Take time for yourself. Allow your inner power to heal and return to being peace-filled. This will assist you in making you stronger. And I like that peace-filled attitude that we need to have today. That we're not just going to rush blindly into anything. We're not going to have that knee-jerk reaction. Right? But we are going to have that renewal of peace each and every moment as we think, as we strategize our way forward. And what animal is going to appear today? Look at this. Believe. The unicorn appears. Believe. Can't make this stuff up, can you? Okay. The unicorn. Believe. So our keywords are believe, magic, wish, unexpected. Believe in yourself and there will come a time when others will have no choice but to believe with you. Unicorn tells you something that sometimes you get so caught up in the reality and stresses of life that you forget that there is magic all around you, but especially within you. Remember to keep wishing and believing in those wishes. It's when you forget to wish, when you forget to believe that you stop receiving. It may be little, it may be big, but surprises and unexpected gifts happen when you least expect them. Being open to the unexpected turns in the road of life is an important part of your success. By letting go of some of the control, allowing yourself to ride through your life a little unplanned but with a lot of vision, a dream, faith, and belief, the twists and turns may in fact lead you to the most wonderful surprises. So... I, I think this is really a time where we are really looking at our forward motion, who we want to be, where we want to be in our lives, what we want to have surround us in our lives, and to really stick to our values and not allow ourselves to just travel off in unexpected roads without giving it any thought. Most of our life, we work on the subconscious. We go through our daily routines. This energy is asking us to step into the conscious, 
to look for those opportunities, to look for those new adventures, to gain new perspectives and take a chance on yourself as you broaden your horizon. Until we meet again, remember, I do love you.